Good morning everybody. Today we've decided to come back to my uh, local park lake again. See if we can get some more of those big bream and maybe some tench. It's bright and early. It's half past two. Uh, just come from work. Uh, I'll be absolutely knackered by eight o'clock but then I'll go home and get some kip. But again we're using PVA bags with uh, sweet corn on the bottom and then on the other rig I'm using two little yellow wafters see if we can increase the uh, the takes from the tench because I keep getting lime bites but uh, not really any decent runs so we'll try some popped up stuff hopefully that will pop it up over the weed and hopefully we'll have uh, we'll have some fish out in this session so uh, let's see what happens yeah so there's my rods all set up Hopefully, gonna catch me a nice bream or a nice tench. Hopefully, it will. I have my landing net right there just in case. Yeah, my reels again, I probably told you before, but they're uh, Shimano, very good reels and uh, loaded with 15 pound line. Fox buzzers with some swingers on because it's quite windy. Let's have a seat and just enjoy. There we are, that's better. Bit more light on the job. Well, just caught my first tench of the session, literally been in five minutes. And uh, there she is, lovely tench, probably about three to four pound, something like that. And uh, that was on the uh, popped up wafters. So what does that tell you? They're liking the uh, popped up wafters. Yeah, so there you go, there's my tench caught on two wafters looks like about four pounds which is quite nice there we go there's my tench and there's the two wafters hanging out of its mouth bit of a split fin there nice female yeah so that's nice isn't it a four and a half pound tench from my local park lake There we go, nice little tench, well not little but uh, put up a great scrap, uh, caught on a couple of wafters which is quite good, uh, the wind's getting up now as well, oh I've just heard a couple of bleeps on me on my other rod, I hope that doesn't go off while I'm uh, doing this but uh, yeah so it looks like turning to the wafters has produced a, a good run for me which is good beautiful fish right let's get this one back and uh, let's go up there and uh, get another one hopefully a bigger one <laughs> right, this is the way to release them in the sack which way should, should go in or should go in the wrong way there she goes Yeah, we just caught another nice tench, and this is a nice tench from a, a local park lake. It's just over five pounds, like in the sweet corn, just as it's about to get daybreak. It's a beauty. Uh, five pound, four ounces, nice tench. This one actually took the uh, sweet corn on the bottom with the PVA bag. Let's get him out, have a photograph and have a, another look at him but yeah this one's nice and fat so there we go we've got another beautiful 
10 shot of the uh, Park Lake. This one is, they're getting quite nice now. Five pound, four ounces. Yeah, they're actually getting quite chunky now, are these tench. And this one actually took uh, a bit on the bottom. So not the wafter, but uh, yeah, pleased with that. It's a beautiful fish. Wind's starting to get up too now again. It's uh, just getting daybreak, but I'm happy with the, with this one doing so well. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get some bream soon. Beauty. release my tench. There we go. Away you go mister. Well, just as I was putting that fish back, I've, uh, I've only gone and got another one. Uh, £3.7 male tench this time, so that's quite good. There we go, another nice male tench. You can see it's a male tench because it's got uh, spoon like fins at the bottom. And this one went off like a rocket on a launcher pad. Did this one, so that's quite good. Like I say, in the dark, I can't get any action on film, but uh, yes, that's two tench in the space of 20 minutes. So that's good, hopefully they're feeding. So let's see if the bigger ones roll in, hopefully they do. And then uh, we'll get back out, put some more PVA bags out there and uh, have a go again. <laughs> I'm liking this session. I hope the bream show up. Well, good morning everybody. It's just becoming daybreak now and what a session I have had. I've had six tench up to now in two hours. Biggest, five pound four ounces. And that's amazing really from a local park lake. No sign of the bream yet though, but uh, there's plenty of uh, little goose gobs about and geese, as you can hear. Still quite dark, but hopefully might get a bit bit more. Hopefully we might get a few more runs from a few more tench or maybe a big bream. Be quite nice. So here we are, it's uh, half past four and seen one or two tench moving out there. Like I say, we've had six already, biggest just over five, which is good. I haven't seen any bream yet though. But it's a lovely morning. Nice to be out on the lake, early May, with the wildlife. Another tench, I think. Where is he? Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh. Right, where's my net? I do like a nice early morning tench. Let me get my net. Let me go over here. There we go, don't go over me other line please mister, thank you, looks like a nice one too, oh yeah, lovely, oh yeah, looks like a nice tench, we're going well with the tench. Well, how about that then, another five pounder. This one's five pound, two ounces. Ah! 
tell you what, these tension this, uh, in this lake are, are cracking and there's quite a few of them. I mean look at this, just over five pound, like in the sweet corn. We've had seven tench up to now. I've only been here three hours. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, oh, can't believe it. And hopefully there might be uh, bigger to come. And let's see if we can get a big bream as well. Absolutely fantastic these tench. <laughs> I'm having a good time this morning, really enjoying myself and that is what fishing is all about. <laughs> right, let's try and nudge this one just over the net again. It's a nice nice big tench. Let's nudge him over the net there. Look at that beauty. Except he wants to be going the wrong way. There we go, I've loaded your net, there we go. He's hopefully going to be going out. He's just down here at the side now. Uh, there he is. Come on, you're nearly out mister. There we go, that's perfect. Right, another PVA bag is required. Yeah, so this is all I'm using, is just three grains of sweet corn on the hair with a size six hook, that's all is required that's catching me these, uh, these fish. That's all you need, so I'm gonna uh, put this in a PVA bag again and cast it out there and see if we can get any more. Right, the sun's getting a bit high in the sky now, but we'll try and cast that. Yeah, it's not too bad. I would have preferred it a bit further out near the island, but we'll leave it like that. We can pick up a few fish from in there. Right, we'll just set the rod back on. go that's tightened up right bit runner on and we're all ready to go again and it's only six o'clock well just been there and gone and caught another beautiful big bream so that was nice you know, it was just a little bump, 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 and that was on there, uh, sweet corn on the bottom again, just as the sun's getting high in the sky now, so I'm pleased with that. So here he is, in my net, my big bream, don't know how big he is yet. Yeah, so here we are, we've got another big bream in the net, not sure how big he is, but he's probably about the same as the others. Took a like into the sweet corn. It's probably about seven or eight pounds, something like that. But it's a it's a nice fish, so let's get him out and have a look at him, weigh him, and then have a photograph. So here we go, we're on my uh, local park lake again, and another big bream, eight pound twelve ounces. Right cracking fish. Caught on sweet corn with the PVA bag system again. There we go, another beautiful big bream from my local park lake. Liking the sweet corn. They're uh, going quite well this season, of the bream on here. So this one's really quite fat and uh, feeding quite well. So I'm quite pleased with that because this is a, a nice big fish. Anything, well, I like bream anyway, but this is, uh, when they get to this size, they get quite impressive, don't they, the bream? So, I mean, this one's in perfect condition too. So what we'll do is we'll uh, rest it up and then uh, release it. And let's see if we can catch some uh, more bream and some more tench. Well, yeah, this one's a right cracker, is this one? <laughs> 
Right, so here's my bream just in the net. Again, what we're going to do is if we can just tease her over the net again. She'll go down okay, I think. She's a nice big fish. You can see she's uh, she's okay. It's lower than that. She wants to go down deep. Anyway, so we'll just bring her up and we'll nudge her over the net. There we go. Where she goes, back into the lake. And that's the way it should be. Right, so the baits are in. All we can do now is wait. Like I say, I've got say uh, three grains of corn in a PVA bag on the bottom. And then on the right hand rod, I have got a couple of floating baits on there. Some floating dumbbells. So hopefully, Something's going to pick that up too. Lovely morning though. Glorious. Yeah, so again we're using halibut pellets to put in the PVA bags. These are 6 mils. I always use these. I buy in bulk, 50 kilo. Much cheaper. Nice and oily. Attracts a lot of fish. And then of course, the good old sweet corn there, the 49p tin from Herons, can't beat it. There we are, we've got the uh, baby goose gobs out on the uh, park lake now, aren't they lovely? They're so cute. He's come off. Ah, oh, that was a decent fish as well. Uh, how annoying. Oh dear. Never mind. Yeah, so I've just lost that fish. You know, it can't have been hooked very well. But um, I'll show you where uh, the juicy dumbbells I'm using. These ones here, look from bait tech, the pop-ups and you can see they come in all different colours well I'm going with the yellow because it looks like sweet corn and it pops up just off the bottom just shy of the weed so it doesn't sink into the weed and uh, we're getting a few takes on it so that's what I'm using today There we go, a nice big male tench going back in just under five pounds. It's a big male. It's a big male is that one. Just getting its breath back now. Nice coloration on this one as well. Really nice. Start to swim off in a minute. There we go. Down you go. Well, what a session I've had. I've been here six hours now, and uh, it's just come over cloudy. The wind started to get up now. We had a nice little sunny spell where I had that bream. But what a fantastic session. Seven tench and that beautiful big bream. Can't beat it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. If you didn't, never mind. And I'll see you in the next episode. And thank you for watching.